Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Rainbow Six Siege. First of all, uh, I will show you a couple of stuff that you need to do before to open the game. Uh, a couple of tweaking that you can do on Windows to get more FPS. And after that we will look at the graphic setting in the game. So first of all, you should write game mode in the search. And make sure that your game mode is at off. Really important here. You will gain a couple of FPS and this is causing a lot of, of issue with stuttering, drop of FPS and stuff like that. Also game bar, make sure this one is at off. The other thing that you need to consider is to remove the Uplay uh, overlay. So if you go in setting, make sure that enable in-game overlay for supported game is unchecked. And honestly, don't use overlay. Remove the one if the, from Discord if you're using Discord. Uh, remove the, the, the one with Steam. I didn't have any issue with it, but Discord caused me a lot of issue. And Uplay too, and also Origin. So uh, make sure that you don't use those fancy overlay. Uh, another thing that uh, you will need to do is uh, where you install the game for me is in my E drive and Tom Clancy You have two icon here to execute this one and this one right click on it click properties Compatibility make sure disable full screen optimization is check and For change IDPI setting make sure override IDPA scaling behavior is checked too. do the same thing with this one so that's about it for the file. One more thing. Uh, this is something new that I found like a month ago. Um, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner uh, from a previous patch. I don't remember uh, the one. I think it's 1809. Uh, Windows 10 have a lot of issue with uh, the standby list. So this is like a, a software who will automatize your uh, purge standby list. It's pretty nice, honestly. I don't have any stuttering now in Battlefield and the Division 2. I had a lot of issue before with those games. And uh, this is the guy who created DDU. So uh, it's pretty. It's a legit software. It's not uh, something random. So I will post the link in my description so you can download it easily. It doesn't take a lot of resources. It's pretty simple software. Now let's go in the game. So let's go to settings. First of all, let's we'll start with display. Make sure that your monitor is the proper one, not your second or some random stuff here. Also resolution, make sure that you're using the resolution that you want to use. Uh, after all the changes that I will show you, if you still don't get your 60, you will probably need to lower your resolution with something like 720p. Uh, it will, you will gain uh, a couple of FPS with that. Display mode, make sure that you're playing full screen, borderless and window mode, I was losing 3 to 4 FPS, so really important full screen. Make sure that your refresh rate of your monitor is matching with your game. Uh, I know a couple of people who bought like a 144 hertz screen and they didn't know that they were playing at 60, so make sure that it's not you. Uh, VSync, make sure that uh, you put this one at off, you don't want some input lag, so remove this. And for fill of view, uh, for sure if you go with 90, you will see more in front of you. You can add like artifact, uh, drop FPS and stuff like that. But it's more like a prefer. Uh, just do your testing and use the one that you prefer. After that for graphic, for texture quality, I'm playing at very high. Not some, it's not something very important for me. I have 8 gig of VRAM on my card and it's pretty nice in this game. They show you uh, where you are with your uh, video memory. So just do your test so if you have 2 gig go with medium if you have like less than 2 gig go with low texture filtering the best compromise is 4x so use 4x LOD quality this one I'm putting at low uh, for each bracket you will gain 2% of FPS so pretty huge deal here uh, honestly it's a multiplayer game I don't really care about like image quality I just want to see those enemy and have a lot of FPS so I'm put this one at low shading quality same thing 2% for each bracket not a huge deal but still you can gain nice FPS over there shadow quality this one is kind of huge you can get like 3% for each bracket so go with low a lot of people is playing medium too because they want to see more uh, shadow because it's kind of important in those kind of game so you can go with medium if you have like uh, a lot of FPS reflection quality you will not necessarily see a big improvement when you're playing the game it depends where you are in the map but uh, if you're seeing that sometimes you have some random drops probably you will need to lower uh, your reflection quality ambient occlusion i don't like this effect i'm removing it and you're getting like three to four percent of fps 
so pretty nice and you see honestly you, you just see better in the game when you remove ambient occlusion it's pretty much the same thing with depth of field by the way just remove this effect when you're playing competitive game you don't want to use this lens effects pretty much the same thing you don't want bloom and lens layer so just remove all those effects uh, you will not gain a lot of FPS with lens effect and uh, the depth of field but still you can gain like when you put those one at off you can get a, like maybe a total of four percent of increase so pretty nice and for anti-aliasing you should definitely use the fxaa if you have a low end computer again if you have a nice video card and cpu probably you will not need my guide because the game is running well but if you have i don't know an integrate video card a laptop or an old pc just use fxaa because i feel when you're playing at off uh sometimes like lines are breaking and stuff you're thinking it's an enemy but no it's just aliasing and fxaa is doing a good job in this game so that's about it guys if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace